What started out as a hit and run is now a homicide investigation. Westminster police are looking for the driver of a pickup. They say intentionally hit and killed a man and then drove off. This happened just after 10 o'clock last night near the intersection of Alcott and Zuni, just east of Federal. The victim's wife spoke with our own Brianna Clark today. Brianna. Yeah, as you can imagine, she is distraught and heartbroken. Yvette Valenzuela identified the victim as her husband, Robbie. She lost him less than 24 hours ago, and all she wants right now is to wake up from this nightmare. This is the area where police say it happened, just a few blocks away from Robbie's home. His wife tells me Robbie was running a quick errand and said he would be right back. That was the last time Yvette talked to her husband. We went two and a half blocks up the street, and I found my husband just laying there lifeless, just laying there. He didn't even have a shirt on no more. His pants were just shattered, shredded, like this guy just ran over him. <laughs> and I hugged him and I held him and I said, baby, please come back, please. That's been a very emotional day for the family. So here's a look at the pickup truck that police say the suspect was driving. It's a 2016 black Dodge Ram. There's a giant sticker on the back window. You can see it there and it has a Colorado license plate. We now know the number. It's EEIA89. Officers believe Robbie and the suspect got into some type of argument prior to the crash. Police say the pickup left the scene before they even arrived. Hit my husband and drug him halfway down the block and just left him lifeless and took off. Like, how do you live with yourself like that? How? We, do you not have a heart? Do you not? Like, I could not live with myself if I took another person's life. And take a look. This car might also be connected. Police say it was nearby and whoever was inside might have seen the argument or even know the suspect. It's a white and tan older two door car lowered with aftermarket rims. Robbie was 52 years old. He had three daughters and seven grandchildren. On the day that he died yesterday, he told his family countless times, you only live once, so make sure you enjoy your life. Yvette says she now plans to live by those words. Brianna Clark, Nine News. Brianna, thank you for sharing that family story, and we'll keep a lookout for those vehicles.